What's going on everybody? It's JB here, uh, JB Claret here, uh, and I'm doing something something new uh, today. We're going to do a predictions video. Uh, first of all, I'll concentrate on the two big championship games and then we'll go into the Premier League, because uh, obviously I want to go a little bit in depth with that. Uh, but we're going to start obviously with the team that plays here at Turf Moor. We're going to start with my beloved Clarets, Burnley. Uh, today we take on Wolverhampton Wanderers, very inconsistent side. Uh, not many Wolves fans are happy with Kenny Jackett's job, but this probably really, we're four points clear at the top of the championship, for, which is fantastic after that remarkable win against Huddersfield. Uh, we played very well and we didn't have to take our foot out of uh, gear again last week. Um, I think we should win this game today. Um, the reason I say this is, with Brighton coming up at Turf next Saturday, and that's a big, big game for us, is that one. Uh, no, no, we're away at Brighton now. We're actually away at Brighton next week, so uh, we need to go into that match down at the Amex next week um, with a win under our belts. So I think this is probably now these games we have to win. Certainly the home games we must win. I think we've only lost two at home this season, so that's standards in good stead. So I'm going to go for 2-0 Clarets. Uh, and I'm going to go for Graham Box to get the goals. Okay. Uh, another game I want to uh, I want to bring up from the championship quickly is the um, is the um, East, uh, is the um, East Midlands derby between Derby and Nottingham Forest. Um, they both both teams, of course, managed by the late great Brian Clough. Uh, Forest having sat down manager Dougie Freeman in uh, in midweek after a run of bad results. Um, Derby, of course, got rid of Paul Clement rather surprisingly. I know he, I know they weren't winning many games, but they were unbeaten, and I never understand Derby County's board, to be honest with you. They were playing, you know, they just want to play good football rather than go for promotion. I, you know, if I was a Burnley fan, and I could choose good football, and I had a choice between getting promoted and playing good football, i choose promotion every day, because everybody wants to be in the Premier League. You know, I wouldn't swap places with Derby right now. I'm going to go for 1-1. One, one. I think the Brian Cook Trophy today will be shared. Okay. So we're now going to move on to the Premier League. And the early kickoff today is at Goodison Park, where Everton, who are very inconsistent in the league, but are in the Cup semi-final, where they're playing at West Ham or Everton in that particular game at Wembley next month. They play Arsenal. And Wenger got out of two comp Wenger side out of two competitions. I wrote on my Facebook... Is Arsenal season over? I think it is, to be quite honest. I can't see them catching up with Spurs or Leicester City. Uh, it would need a monumental effort. And the same would apply really to Manchester City. I mean, if Everton show the same passion and the same commitment like they did at Ch against Chelsea in the Cup last week, I can see an, I can see an Everton victory. So I'm going to go... I think Arsenal will score, but I'm going to go 2-1 Everton on that one. Uh, the leaders to Leicester today, they're at uh, Crystal Palace, are in free fall, they haven't won, they've had they've had wins in the cup, they've had a good cut run. Is it going to put Palace into a relegation battle? I fear for Crystal Palace a little bit because they, you know, in the first half of the season I really enjoyed watching them, they were very good and all that. They've had some, to be fair though, they've had some very bad injuries to key players and that hasn't helped Pardew in one bit, but... Having said that, though, I would fancy Leicester. I'm sorry, Palace, but I fancy Leicester to do you today. I'm going to go. I'm going to go two nil. I'm going to go two nil Leicester. Two nil Leicester. Vardy and Mares to get the goals there. Chelsea, West Ham, London derby. Chelsea unbeaten in the league of the goose inning. Had a terrible cup defeat. They lost Diego Costa to suspension for his silly incident with Gareth Barry. Um, you know. I, I don't know how you Chelsea fans are reacting to the Costa incident last week, but I certainly thought it was stupid in the least, and I think he did mean to bite Barry. I know he didn't bite him, but I, I think the intent was there. Uh, but I think you're going to have a long afternoon today at Stamford Bridge, because West Ham are flying, aren't they? They should have won the cup tie at Old Trafford last week. You know, they, they should have won it. Their goal from Martial United's goal should never have counted, in my opinion. But I fancy... I fancy West Ham getting a point. I think they, I think they're worthy of a point. I'm going to go 1-1, one, one, but West Ham will give Chelsea one heck of a game. You can be sure of that. I've been very impressed with West Ham, but I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. West Brom against Norwich. Uh, West Brom virtually safe with, with Kozapiris. 
you know I mean a lot of people grumble about his style of play but it gets results you know and uh, he's never been relegated so I think and Norwich they're in massive free fall and, and I'm, I'm tripping them unfortunately to go down because they're just not winning games are they and it's you know it must be frustrating I, I mean I felt that when we had that uh, when Burnley last year had that one, one winning 10 and you know and that cost us ultimately so you know, I know our Norwich fans must be feeling, but to my, in my opinion, I think on the experiences I felt as a Burley fan in the Premier League last season, I think you could be doomed, Norwich fans. I'm sorry, uh, but um, West Brom. I mean, if Ron Don and Barry you not know, turn up, I can see them winning it. I'm gonna go. I'm sorry, Norwich. I'm gonna go three nothing West Brom, and they'll get the forty points, and then they're staying up. Watford Stoke. Difficult one to call that. I think it'll end 1-1. I think both teams are very solid. Both are very much safe. Um, Watford have had a great season. Um, they're in the Cup semi-final. They play Crystal Palace. They've got a good chance of making the final. Stoke, season fell off the rails. They were they were unfortunate to go out the League Cup semis, I thought. But I'm going to go 1-1. I think, I think they're two sides that, are, you know, I, I would find too close to call. Swansea Aston Villa, um, big relegation battle. Swansea obviously needing the points. Their manager should be back today, apparently. Uh, can't remember what his name is, but uh, he's back after three months out, uh, three weeks uh, having missed the last three games through a, a chest infection, I think. I would fancy Swansea so strongly today at home against an Aston Villa team who, who let's be honest, it's the worst. It's, it's the worst Villa team I've ever seen play. You know, they're a big club. You know, the fans don't deserve what how the club is being run. It's under a lot of you know, there's a lot of upheaval at the moment. Uh, their CEO has resigned. Uh, a lot of people didn't like that Tom Fox, but the Villa probably didn't like him, I must admit. The club hasn't been run properly and I feel sorry for the Villa fans and I'm and I'll, I'm gonna feel sorry for them again now because it's gonna be a long afternoon down in South Wales and them. I think it's gonna be um I think it's going to be three one to Swansea. I'm afraid. Sorry, Villa. I'm sorry. I, I, it's a real shame, though, Aston Villa. It's going to be like a wait because they that football club deserves to be a lot higher than what it is in terms of fan base, stature, a history, and ground. It doesn't them three things don't deserve the current squad right now? To be quite honest, it's a shambles. The shambles. I don't know who's been recruiting the players. I'm sure, I'm certain it's not Tim Sherwood, and I'm certain to God it's not um, Remy Guard. The damage was done, I think, when they got Paul Lambert in. Well, they got McLeish and Lambert in, and they were, and they they died the cast for what's happening now, as far as I'm concerned. But Swansea, I think Swansea will win, and I think they'll stay up. Uh, tomorrow's games now, big North London. Uh, Two big derbies. We're going to start with the time we're derby. Newcastle Sunderland. This is the biggest time time we're derby for years. This one. Um, Newcastle sacked McLaren. Quite rightly so. His results weren't good enough. There's still an evil up evil about the way the club's been run by Mike Ashley. I know he may have pulled off a good coup there in uh, Rafa Benitez, and it's got some of the crowd up there buzzing with anticipation. Sunderland tough to beat, of course, under Sam Allardyce. Tough defensively, but. I think the Venetis factor will see Newcastle home and I think they'll stay up Newcastle. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go, sorry to disappoint the Sunderland fans, but I'm going to go 2-0 Newcastle. I just think the Benitez factor could play a key ball in tomorrow, tomorrow's events and maybe the rest of the season. Southampton, Liverpool, uh, two good teams like to attack, got very good individuals in them. I'm going to go 2-2 at St Mary's tomorrow. Okay, I'm keeping that brief because we've got the big one here. Man City, Man United, big Manchester derby. Uh, if Man City win, it's over for Manchester United. Um, you know, I know they've still got, I know they're still in the FA Cup, and they they only stayed in that because of a generous decision from the referee, knowing their equaliser. Uh, but I think the deal is to Man City. Van Hal, he's how many times, how many lives has he had this season? He must have had more than a cat. Quite frankly, um, the style of football is not like the Manchester United sides we are used to seeing 
over the years under the likes of Bron Atkinson to Matt Busby, um, Alex Ferguson, you know, where they used to attack, 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 and win things every year. It's it's not hum it's not happening. Maybe did they get rid of Moist too soon? I don't know. But there you go. Uh, so I would expect I'm going to go. I think it will be close. Derby games are usually close, but I'm going to go for Manchester City. I think United will score, but I'm going to go three-one to Manchester City because I think. They'll just have that extra bit of quality. Aguero, if he's fit, you know, it all depends on whether Vincent Company is fit. But I'm going to go 3-1 Manchester City. And finally, another big, big match at the top of the table. Leicester's title rival Spurs out the Europa League. Absolutely convincingly thrashed on aggregate by a rampant Borussia Dortmund who have actually drawn Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool in the quarterfinals, uh, ironically. They take on, Tottenham take on Eddie Howe's Bournemouth, who have been on a magnificent run. And I expect there to be goals in this game, because these teams, if they both attack, I can see this being a five-goal thriller, a six-goal thriller. I'm going to go, I'm going to put my head on the line here. I think Bournemouth will score three, but still lose. I think Spurs will win 4-3, and we want to keep the title race going a little bit longer, but... Part of me wants Tottenham just to make it a little bit of a grandstand finish and just unnerve Leicester a little bit. But I do want Leicester to win the league. It would be the fairy tale of the century if Leicester were to do it. But I'm going to go 4 3 to Tottenham. But Bournemouth will give them one heck of a game. You can be sure of that. And with Max Gradle in the side, he's on form. He's on good form. I can see Bournemouth really causing problems for Spurs tomorrow. That's my predictions, guys, for the weekend's football. Uh, if you. Um, if you want to leave a like please do let me know what your predictions are in the comments below as well if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the JB uh, Claret 80, 1983 channel if you want to follow me on Twitter the address is at Stutzy83 that's it from me I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you later bye